I've seen claims online that sodium ion batteries aren't very efficient, but I couldn't find any real world data to prove that. So I decided to run a test myself and compare the efficiency of a sodium ion battery with a lithium iron phosphate battery under different loads. For this test, I used a 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and a 75 amp hour sodium ion battery. For testing, I fully charged them, then discharge at various C rates and then recharge again while recording the energy in and out with this one way shunt and records the watt hours. Charging is done with a 20 amp DC charger. Let's go straight to the results. I ran three tests, one at 0.25C, one at 0.5C and one at 1C. Starting with 0.25C. For a 50 amp hour battery, that's a current of 12.5 amps. The lithium iron phosphate battery had a round trip efficiency of 95% which is actually a bit lower than I expected. Many sources online suggest values around 98%, but this is what I measured in real world conditions. Now for the sodium battery, 0.25C for a 75 amp hour battery is 19 amps, and it came in at 93% round trip efficiency, which is better than I expected. Let's increase the current to 0.5C. Lithium iron phosphate had an efficiency of 93%, while sodium dropped slightly to 90%. Still a solid result and in line what we saw with the previous test. Now for the 1C test. That means 50 amps for lithium and 75 amps for sodium. This level of discharge is uncommon in most systems, especially if you follow my design recommendations. But I ran the test anyway. Lithium iron phosphate delivered a 90% round trip efficiency and sodium came in at 89%. You'll notice something interesting in the sodium results at 1C. The voltage of the battery dropped significantly under load which led to a lower recorded capacity of 410 watt hours. The inverter shut down early because the battery voltage fell below its minimum input voltage. This didn't happen with lithium iron phosphate because it has a very flat voltage curve and it handles high current loads without much voltage sag. If you look at this graph with the voltage curves of both lithium and the sodium battery, you will see what's happening. This line here represents the inverter's low cutoff voltage of 2.75 volts. When you draw a high current, the battery voltage will drop, and how much it drops depends on the battery's internal resistance. Lithium can handle that drop and still stay above the cutoff for longer thanks to its flat voltage curve. But the sodium battery's voltage drops faster under load, so it hits this cutoff voltage sooner. That's why we'll see a reduced usable capacity at higher C rates, like the 410 watt hours in our 1C tests. That's a clear advantage of lithium, you get more usable energy under high load conditions. Let's say the lithium iron phosphate battery drops its voltage under load. So it goes from this point to here. And it's still usable because it doesn't reach the low cutoff voltage of the inverter. When the same voltage drops happens in sodium batteries, we are under the low cutoff voltage of the inverter of 2.75 volts per cell. It's important to note that we're not using the full capacity of the sodium ion battery. In fact, 
we're only able to use about 50% of its total capacity. That's because the voltage range is too wide for your typical inverter. This is the limitation of current inverter technology. Most inverters aren't designed to handle the low and the high voltages that sodium batteries can reach. Until we have compatible inverters or suitable DC to DC converters, we're leaving a lot of usable capacity on the table. If you want a comparison between lithium iron phosphate and sodium ion batteries, you can watch my video next. So what's the takeaway? Sodium ion batteries aren't as inefficient as people say. In fact, it's quite close to lithium in terms of round-trip efficiency. Once sodium batteries become cheaper than lithium, which is likely to happen in the next few years, a 2-5% to drop in efficiency won't really matter that much anymore. If you learned something new, please give the video a like. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.